Little ghetto boy, changing faces out of in these ghetto streets. Back in the 80s, it wasn't nothing but black people. Now you got Mexicans, got his everybody. Anybody, any form, race, you know, I mean, I'm sure it was those that did it at that time, but it, they were discreet about it. You know, it was, it, it was discreet about it, whereas the only black people, it was wide open, and they forced us to, in a corner, one way of life. They forced you to either, either gonna be a part of this, gonna work your way up out of it, or, hey, you're gonna be lost forever. All the messing with the crack cocaine, like, my, uh, I lost my oldest brother in 82, my mom in 84. When I lost my mom, I just got buck wild with smoking crack. Are you consciously aware that most of us are being socially engineered through propaganda? Everybody that I know, or every story that I've ever been told, every personal narrative that I've heard, um, crack and prison are directly correlated. It's just um, almost a revolving door. If you're using crack, you're gonna go to prison. And when you get out of prison, if you don't change your associations, you're gonna be doing crack again, you're gonna be committing crimes, and you're gonna be going to prison. Selling drugs, we made a lot of money. Then we got to the place that I went to try my own product. And then that, I saw trends take place. I saw, uh, I had introduced to my wife. We both was hooked on crack cocaine at this time, but we were having such a big supply of it that we didn't see the effect of it in the beginning. But as time went on stuff, it came to the point that I lost, well, I was working at the time, and still, I lost a job, lost a family, and I ended up in the streets, homeless for four years. My wife uh, got herself together. She got clean after being out there for about six years. But my thing was, I was out there for 18 years on crack cocaine. Been to the pen, it cost me to go to the pen twice. Cost me to lose my whole household for a period of 18 years. Cost me to be homeless. Cost me to put a pistol to my head at one time and not even want to live anymore. <laughs> Related to crack, the first thing I would think about were the three people who were given 99 year sentences here for selling crack. I thought that was uh, just deliberately trying to ruin the person's life. I think that was too much. Now what I do remember is when we were coming up as kids and they had this dad program, you know, dare to keep kids off drugs and we were in elementary at the time. I was in maybe third or fourth grade, I believe. So you had these police officers come in and talk to the students about the negative effects of doing and selling drugs. And this was around the same time they had the commercial running, you know, this is your brain on drugs with the eggs frying in the pan. And you know, they were trying to preach keeping kids off drugs and they were putting on this facade like they really cared about each and every child there. Dr. R.D. Enthrushen alluded to, a human being is a biological creature from birth, but is from then on shaped as a person through social influences, upbringing, socialization, and is in that sense a social construction. 